Entering the 21st century, the rapid development of military science and technology has led countries to invest heavily in the research and development of a new generation of warplanes and resources, especially with the gradual service of five-generation aircraft. The research and development of six-generation aircraft has become a new direction for the development of military industry in various countries. At the 2020 to Zhuhai Air Show, the Chinese military first high profilely showed off a concept for the shape of the new fighter jet, whose remarkable stealth effect sparked widespread attention. The aircraft adopts a three-node design, no drogue, no flat tail, no duck wing, a design concept that bears a clear resemblance to the US sixth generation aircraft in GID. In addition to the display at the Zhuhai Air Show, as early as 2019, Professor Song Penfeng of China's XITU revealed that his team had designed as many as eight options for China's sixth-generation aircraft program. These early efforts showed China's enthusiasm and capability in research and development in the field of Generation 6 aircraft. The sixth-generation fighter would have faster speeds, longer ranges and greater surprise defense capabilities and might even feature revolutionary new engines. This is probably some of the blueprints depicted by the major powers for the next generation of fighters, i.e. the sixth generation fighters. So what are the obvious changes that the sixth generation fighters will have compared to the current fighters? First, engine changes. Early sixth generation aircraft may not yet be loaded with epoch making engines, but will certainly be reserved for modules. And the current news from the United States is that the sixth generation aircraft will have a new type of propulsion system, i.e. an adaptive engine, which can be switched to different, more efficient configurations according to flight conditions. Pratt Whitney and G Aerospace are each developing their own adaptive engines as part of the next generation adaptive propulsion systems program. Second, changes in shape. The sixth generation fighter is widely believed to have a flying wing layout, the shape of the US B-2 or B-21. The advantage of the wing layout is to reduce the obstacles, no horizontal and vertical tail, reducing the corresponding friction and induced drag losses and further improve the aerodynamic efficiency. Through the use of composite materials in the fuselage, compared with the same size of the conventional aircraft, the takeoff weight can be reduced by 15%, the operating air weight reduced by 12%. To a certain extent, if the fuel tank is as big, it means that the operational radius of the sixth generation aircraft will also be farther. Third, the combat radius is greatly increased. The increase in combat radius is not only related to the aerodynamic layout, but also has a lot to do with the engine, of course. The all-control and electronic control system, as well as the innovation of the whole platform, will become the key to save fuel and increase the efficiency of the sixth-generation aircraft. Just like the new energy vehicle, the platform sometimes also affects the range. Not only the battery determines the range. Fourth, flight speed will increase significantly. If the current fourth or even fifth generation air defense missile systems can still have a chance to shoot down a fifth generation plane, then by the sixth generation fighter, it is possible that general air-to-air -air missiles may not be able to catch up with it, which will enhance the survivability of the sixth generation plane and allow the sixth generation plane to achieve several times the enemy's ability to kill the enemy in the real world scenario. Only qualitative improvement will allow the sixth generation aircraft to form an advantage over the five generation aircraft and four generation aircraft. Fifth, stealth capability is further enhanced. The change in aerodynamic layout itself will enhance its stealth capability but at the level of stealth coatings, more advanced so-called metamaterials, i.e. new artificial mordants, should be used, however, in the short term. If this kind of super stealth coating can be developed, it is basically a direct generation ahead. So the sixth generation machine is likely to still maintain the stealth coatings of the five generation machine, focusing on leading the design of the sixth generation machine wind direction, which is very important for the United States. China and Russia are very important to the three countries who first came out than who is the most advanced at least in the next five years. The first to come out of it is still more important to change it slowly, right? Sixth, the change of air refueling technology. 
since the sixth generation aircraft refueling, then I'm afraid that this type of refueling aircraft must also have considerable stealth technology. After all, refueling aircraft is too large in the war zone. Once detected, it is easy to be shot down. And even said that with the sixth generation aircraft with reconnaissance aircraft need to be stealthy, which means that the birth of sixth generation aircraft will lead to a logistical stealth, which is much higher than the five generation aircraft requirements. After all, the sixth generation aircraft to suppress the five generation aircraft. This is the way to go. Seventh, the miniaturization of their weapons. Air weapon miniaturization for buried cockpit, flat fuselage is the inevitable demand. But miniaturized weapons does not mean that the power becomes smaller. Then the sixth generation aircraft on the requirements of such weapons will become higher as for the mission of the sixth generation aircraft. It is clear that the implementation of more high-value targets, such as destroying the island of the carrier, the enemy's important arsenal, anti-aircraft missile positions, etc., this destruction is not a long distance, since it is a sixth-generation aircraft, may be the pro-air bombardment. More importantly, the network information sharing and quantity of the six generations of aircraft is very important. Large quantities of building. The actual combat period of multi-frequency strikes is also indispensable.